Hi everyone and welcome back to the Tech Coach Corner YouTube series presented by Dino. I'm Tiara Lustig and as always, I will be your host today. Before we jump into today's episode, I want to remind you all to please subscribe to Dino's YouTube channel and turn on notifications so that you're getting notified whenever we post new episodes. We're posting Tech Coach Corner episodes every Monday and Thursday, so you're going to get two great episodes a week. Um, today we have a really great episode with Matthew Ketchum from Modesto City Schools in California and we're talking about using Microsoft Teams during remote learning. I want to apologize in advance, my uh, Wi-Fi was pretty bad during this episode so my video is choppy, but it's a great conversation, you can still hear everything perfectly so I didn't want to let the episode go to waste just because my Wi-Fi was bad. So without further ado, we'll jump into the episode. Welcome back to Tech Coach Corner, everyone. Today, I am joined by Matthew Ketchum. Matthew, do you want to give a brief introduction to yourself before we get started? Yeah. Hi, everybody. My name is Matthew Ketchum, your neighborhood friendly technology coach who is soon to be our district's director of educational technology. I officially start in that role on July 1st, coming up in a couple of weeks here. Uh, so Congratulations. I'm, thank you. I'm really excited for <laughs> it. have a lot of ideas and uh, it's a new educational landscape and I think it's uh, I think it's a right time for kind of looking at maybe trying to do things a little bit differently. Definitely. So we worked with you in the past on the Tackling Tech podcast, as well as for our technology coaching conference. You and Scott Noons did a great presentation on PLNs and leveraging PLNs with social media, which was amazing to listen to. Um, one thing you guys spoke about a little bit was using Microsoft Teams during this time of remote learning. Could you talk a little bit more about maybe how Modesto City Schools is using Microsoft Teams, what you see beneficial about it, and kind of how it applies to K-12 education? Yeah, we have our district, we have Office 365 Microsoft, and we also have the Google G Suite for education. And we have the LMS, the Schoology. So we kind of have all these different tools out there. And we're really trying to utilize Schoology, our LMS with, you know, teachers, students, you know, staff, PLCs throughout the year. And then distance learning happened. And we have always kind of looked at this Microsoft Teams tool that we already had in Office 365, hadn't really utilized it yet. And we kind of were being careful because we kind of saw it as would teachers or students be confused that this tool is like a replacement to Schoology or how do we really look at the different case uses of Microsoft Teams that differentiates it from like a LMS. And especially when distance learning happened, we said, well, we need video conferencing. We need to meet face to face, especially with staff, uh, to start to plan, start to work together. And Microsoft had Skype and Skype for Business, but that was slowly being merged into Microsoft Teams. So we said, you know what, instead of going with Skype at this moment, that soon is going to be starting to be merged into another tool anyways, let's use Microsoft Teams that we already had. So we just started with just doing the video conference, the Microsoft Teams meetings, and we would do staff meetings, we do planning sessions, and then we thought we could do these live training webinars, professional development development. So, so many teachers, you know, they were in their homes, but they're needing to know how to utilize these tools, the tech tools. So, we're like, they're really needing training. They're at home. Let's utilize this as well for those professional development. And I think in two weeks, we did like a hundred webinars. Uh, we were going, wow. we have, you know, we have an incredible ed tech team, uh, but there's, there's just a handful of us. So we were really going at this pretty, pretty good. Um, the other really neat thing Microsoft Teams does, it lets you record. So we could record those professional development webinars that we were doing, and we could provide that recording for those who want to review or those who couldn't make it. And we would get a lot of feedback from teachers that that was so helpful just to review. They could jump to a certain spot in the video and just kind of clarify or go over those steps again with some of the tech tools. The other really neat thing is um, Microsoft Teams uses behind the scenes their tool called Microsoft Stream. It's a video curating system, 
but it automatically does the auto captions and transcripts to the videos really well. Their tool does that really good. So even that accessibility piece of having those captions and transcripts available with the recordings was important to us. Well, then we started looking at how could this tool be used by counselors who need to meet one-to-one -one with their students? So we utilized it in that way. And then we had school sites that said, I want to speak to our parents. I want to speak to the student body. We have principals and admin. How do we use this video conferencing tool to do that? And Microsoft Teams has what's called live events. And so a, a Teams meeting, you can have about 250 people in at once, but a live event, you can have like 10,000 participants all at once. And it automatically, the same link that you send out for participants to join is the same link they use for the recording. After this live event ends, they just can utilize that same link in the school's website to click on and see the recording. And it's available right away, which was pretty cool. You can also pick up to, I think, six different languages for the auto captionings that are happening. So different parents with different languages could participate in as well. And so we would have, you know, elementary, junior high, high schools have, you know, parent meetings in the evening. Uh, they would have student body meetings that they could use with the live events, which is pretty cool. We even had a couple of the elementary want to do their little uh, graduation ceremonies through the live <laughs> events, uh, which was pretty neat. Uh, which was uh, really nice to see. That's awesome. I love, I love how you kind of span the spectrum from one-to-one -one meetings to that professional development and team meetings and then all the way to events like graduation. As a content creator, I know I love a tool that can kind of do work that I would be doing manually and it can do that automatically. So I think the live captions and, and all of that that you talked about is really beneficial, especially when you're thinking about different disparities that exist between, you know, families and students and different people within our community communities and our, our schools. Um, so I think Microsoft Teams, obviously, they've really had an uptick during this whole remote learning yes. time because schools like yours are really identifying that it's a tool that can really span the spectrum and fit a lot of needs. Um, so thank you so much for outlining how you're using it. Um, Matthew, I know you have your podcast, you have your own PLN network. Um, tell people where they can find you if they want to engage with you further. Yeah, so I have an EdTech podcast with my co-host Scott Noons, and it's called TNT EdTech Podcast. Uh, TNT stands for Teacher and Tech Coach, which soon will we'll still keep the name TNT, but it will soon be, Scott's going to be the new tech coach, and I'll be the new tech director, so we'll still keep TNT. So it's TNT EdTech uh, Podcast. You can find us at tntedtech.com. Also on Twitter at TNT EdTech. And then I'm on Twitter as well at Matt EdTech Coach. Awesome. And we love your guys' podcast. We will definitely put that in the description so everyone can find you there. Thank you so much, Matthew, for being with us today to talk about Microsoft Teams. Yeah, thank you.